co-ed of Good Home Garden, the place for all your home and garden projects. And today, I'm going to be tackling a project on how to organize your kitchen cabinets. I'm going to be installing kitchen sliding shelves. I've done my research online, and I found a company called slidingshelves.com that provides good quality shelves. And I think they're good quality because they have raised edges, they're lined with melamine, and they're, on top of that, the brackets that they use and the hinges that we'll be installing are top quality. So because of those reasons, I've gone with this company. They're also very competitively priced. Now, what tools are we going to need to do this? The first thing we're going to have to have is a drill to, to drill the pre-drill the holes that we're going to be using so that the wood doesn't split. Another handy tool would be one that actually screw in the screws that we're going to be using to save on labor. You can also use an automatic screwdriver, of course or just a good old-fashioned regular screwdriver. You'll also need a level for some types of shelves installations. And a flashlight and a good rug to kneel on would probably be a good um, advisable thing to have. Now I'm going to be showing in this video how to measure and how to install with a full shelf installation. The next two videos will show how to install with a half shelf, and then the last one, like I said, a third in the series, will be about installing with no shelf. So, the first thing we need to do when we measure is to have a good tape measure, which is another tool that you'll need to have. And I'm going to show you on an upper shelf just for ease of, of illustration. Let's do some definitions first. The first thing you need to know is this is called the cabinet face frame. This lining around the actual inside cabinet is the face frame. In the back is the back wall. This is the full shelf because the shelf will rest on it. And these are the hinges. So for the length of the cabinet, what you need to measure is from the back of the wall to the inside of the face frame. And that's about 10 and 3 eighths for my length. And then the width, you have to take into account any obstructions to the shelf actually sliding out and, and not include that in the measurement. So I'm going to measure from this shelf or from this hinge over to this face frame. And that is about 15 and 5 eighths. Now those measurements are the measurements I would provide to the company. And you can either order online or you can call them and, and, send them and tell them the measurements. Those measurements are very important because they will take into account the amount of allowance they need to allow for their mechanisms. So you need to provide those exact measurements to them. If you are measuring for a half shelf or a no shelf type of installation, and by that I mean if you look over here, you can see that both of these are full shelves because the shelf goes to the full distance of the face frame. If this was half of the, of the um, shelf length, then that would be considered a half shelf. And when you would measure for that or for an installation where you have no shelf and you're putting in a sliding shelf, when you measure from the back wall, also measure this time to where the face frame is because it's going to have to attach to the face frame. So include that in the measurement. Okay? All right. So now the next thing is what we're doing is installing on a full shelf installation. 